Imagine a city of three million people, completely paralyzed by a stench so horrific it was considered a weapon. By the mid-1800s, London had flush toilets. The problem? All the waste was dumped straight into the River Thames, which was already an open sewer. Then came the summer of 1858. A brutal heat wave met a river full of everything. The Thames basically became a mile-wide, low-tide septic tank. The crisis earned a perfect name, the Great Stink. It was so bad, lawmakers in the Palace of Westminster, which sat right on the river, had to soak their curtains in chloride of lime to breathe. This disgusting environmental disaster was the catalyst needed. Parliament finally gave the go-ahead for a visionary engineer named Joseph Bazalgette to fix it. Bazalgette didn't just clean the river, he built a masterpiece, 83 miles of main intercepting sewers and 100 miles of street sewers that saved London from cholera epidemics and the stench. The great stink of 1858 proved that Sometimes the only thing that gets politicians to act is a smell so horrifying it forces them to hold their breath. And thanks to it, modern London was born.